Christian and I and some colleagues developed uh, this network approach that and I am talking about this controversy because I want to illustrate the, the usefulness of the network approach, the power of this approach. And it's based on the following observation. Uh, at a given time, two particles that are far away from each other, that they don't interact, but as time goes on, these two particles move and eventually they can come uh, close enough to interact. So, at a given moment of time, we have local interactions, but during time, the system develops long-range interactions, and this is reminiscent of the small world topology of the network. So what we do here is to place all the particles on a lattice. The particles don't move anymore. They are fixed on the node, on the nodes of the lattice. So these vectors are not the velocities, are just vectors. The particles interact with the first K neighbors and with themselves. The number of interactions per particle is, is proportional or should be in the original model should be a function of the density and the, the, interact, the radius of the interaction vicinity. This k is the average number of interactions per particle, so we can compute from the simulations of the Beach model how many interactions per particle are, and we can uh, implement the network topology with this average k. And then we rewire randomly the, so a fraction p of the, of the connections in this, in this lattice, and this is what generates a small world topology. P equals zero is a square lattice, P equals one is the homogeneous uh, random network with, where all the connections have been rewired. And this probability, P, the rewiring probability, should be a function of the time it takes to two particles, the average time it takes two particles that are not interacting with time T, <coughs> to eventually come to within the same vicinity. And this crossing time should be a function of the speed of the particles, the average density, and the in, in radius of the interaction vicinity. But <clears throat> uh, we don't know these quantities, but if we knew these quantities, in principle, we can choose this P in such a way as to reproduce the dynamic behavior observed in the original picture model. So we have this small world topology, we place all the particles in the nodes of this network, and we can implement now, between the particles that are connected, we can implement the Wittgenstein interaction rule or the Gewashita interaction rule. So it's the same kind of interactions, but the particles are more. And you can see here that this approach allows us to separate the topology of the network from the interaction rules. And the advantage of this approach, well, the several advantages, it can be solved analytically, or in the, in the computer, the simulations are, are much faster than from the dynamical model. So here, at least in one case, we were able to solve this analytically, and this is for the, for the mean field theory. And these two assumptions are required for the mean field theory to, to be applicable, that all the vectors are statistically independent and all the Ds are statistically equivalent. And the mean field theory is exact for the case P equal 1. I mean, for, for the case in which all the particles are connected randomly. And in that case, <coughs> because this is a sum of independent random variables equally distributed, we can use the central limit theorem to evaluate the probability distribution for these sums. And then we can compute the phase transition for the big set type of noise, and we see here that the, that the phase transition is indeed continuous. We can show it uh, analytically with this approach. The, the phase transition exponent is one half, which is not a surprise because this is a mutual theory. And these two curves are for two values of the rewired probability, p equals 0 0.1 and p equal 1. And you can see as that we, as we increase the value of the rewiring probability, these, the curve, the phase transition curve approaches continuously to the mean field theory prediction. <clears throat> Which is exactly what happens with the Big Shift model, 
these curves are for the Lipschitz model, and then the purple curve is for the network model, is accompanied by the by the main field approach. And if we increase the speed of the particles in the Lipschitz model, we see the first transition continuously approaches to the curve predicted by the mean field, by the network approach. On the other hand, if we use now the Chatein uh, type of knowledge in the network model, we can see that the phase transition is indeed discontinuous, and there is a region of hysteresis, as you can see here. And <clears throat> this is very, very interesting, that just by changing the nature in which the way in which the noise is introduced, you can change the nature of the phase transition from continuous to to discontinuous with the region of hysteresis. <clears throat> the same behavior is observed in majority voter models, which are nearly the same as the district model, but now the variables are not vectors, the variables are binary variables, which can take only two values, plus one or minus one. So this is a voter model in which a given individual in a society receives opinions from other individuals, and each one can have two opinions about an issue. So uh, it's exactly the same, and we can implement here equivalent dynamics, the Lipschitz type of noise, in which uh, a given individual takes the sign of the average contribution of its inputs, and to that average, and to that result, uh, we add some noise. I mean. The value of 10 t plus 1 of this variable is the sign of the average contribution of the inputs with probability 1 minus theta, and or minus the sign of probability theta. Because now we have binary variables, uh, there are only two choices. So the Dixie type of noise is written in this way. And we can also implement the Verwaschete type of noise, in which to the average signal, to the average input signal, we add, uh, we add the noise and then we take the sign. Eta is the uh, amplitude of the noise and everything is the same, but now we have binary variables. And you can see here that for the Vichy type of noise, the phase transition is continuous, again. We can solve the system analytically. And <clears throat> the same behavior happens when we increase the, the, the probability, uh, the, the rewiring probability of the network we see that the phase transition approach is continuous to the prediction of the mental theory. And for the Chate type of noise, we observed this continuous phase transition. And this transition is, is, is very spectacular because for, for values of the noise smaller than the critical noise, the order parameter is equal to 1, exactly. And <clears throat> for values of the noise, larger than the critical noise, the system is always the same. And you can see also that in the computer with the with their eyes. So <clears throat> the concluding remarks here are that the network approach allows us to separate the effects on the dynamics of the interaction room on the one hand and the topology of the underlying network. Then, uh, at least for the case P equal 1, this is another advantage the network model can be solved exactly. And this is the Newton theory. And no, no finite size effects are present in this case. So we cannot blame finite size effects for anything. And the other thing is that the correlations between the network elements for P smaller than 1 are not considered in the Newton theory, of course. And, and we, haven't, we haven't developed a technique to deal with these correlations. So we still don't know how to introduce correlations into the, into the calculations. Numerically, we can introduce any topology that we want, but analytically, we're still, still struggling with uh, these cor special correlations and temporal correlations. But as I said, when you data from experiments and solving systems become available, the appropriate interaction rules and topologies can easily be implemented in another model with the advantage that the numerical simulations are much faster than for the real system. Thank you.